Imagine a business where you don't need to worry about your inventory, shipping or even handling customer returns. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, get ready because I'm about to show you how drop shipping on Amazon can turn that dream into a reality. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about Amazon dropshipping. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Well, let's get started. Amazon dropshipping is a cool way to run an online business where you sell physical products on Amazon without actually keeping any inventory. Now, how does it work? Let's say you are browsing through Amazon and you come across a product that catches your attention. It's a high quality gadget priced at $100. You see great potential in this product and decide to sell it on Amazon. When a customer places an order, you don't have to worry about stocking the products yourself. Instead, you simply buy the items from a supplier who then takes care of shipping, handling and even customer service for you. When you make a sale on Amazon, all you have to do is inform your dropshipper and they'll ship the products directly to the customer on your behalf. It's like having a team of experts who handle all the heavy lifting while you focus on growing your business. Now, how does Amazon dropshipping actually work? It's pretty straightforward. First, you team up with a dropship wholesaler or distributor who is willing to handle the shipping part for you. They'll ship the products directly to the customers on your behalf. Easy, right? So you and the dropshipper decide on a wholesale price for the products you want to sell online. Once you have that agreement in place, here's how the process unfolds. Step 1. A customer places an order for your product on Amazon. Step 2. You take the shipping details from the Amazon order and send them straight to your dropship supplier. You also pay them the agreed upon wholesale price for the product. Step 3. Your dropship supplier promptly takes care of packaging and shipping the order directly to the end customer. It's a relief to have that task handled for you. Another important aspect to consider in Amazon dropshipping is packaging. Since you are selling products under the manufacturer's or the supplier's branding, the packaging may not reflect your own branding. This can limit your ability to create a unique unboxing experience and leaving a lasting impression on your customers. However, some suppliers may offer the option to include additional branding elements such as inserts or stickers to enhance the packaging and showcasing your brand to some extent. It's worth exploring these possibilities to add a touch of your own branding and create a memorable packaging experience for your customers. Step 4. You get to keep the difference between the selling price you set on Amazon and the wholesale price you paid to the supplier, minus any selling fees charged by Amazon. That's your profit right there. But wait, there's a catch. When you're dropshipping on Amazon, you need to play by their rules. They have the strict code of conduct that you must follow to avoid any trouble. Here are a few key rules to keep in mind. Keep your order defect rate under 1%. That means the number of orders shipped with defects like negative feedback, chargebacks, or A to Z claims should be less than 1%. Once your ODR exceeds that limit, Amazon might suspend your account. So aim for happy customers. Maintain a cancellation rate below 2.5%. If you or your customers cancel orders before a shipping confirmation is issued, it adds up to your cancellation rate. Try to keep it under 2.5% to avoid suspension. Watch out for situations where you make sales but your supplier runs out of stock leading to cancellations. Ensure a late shipment rate under 4% if your dropship supplier consistently ships products late, it could put your Amazon account at risk of suspension. Therefore, it is crucial for them to maintain a competitive edge and ensure timely shipments. Follow these rules and you'll be well on your way to running a successful Amazon dropshipping business. Now, you might be curious about the cost of dropshipping on Amazon. Well, let me break it down for you. Amazon Seller Central offers two plans, individual and professional. The individual plan will set you back just for $0.99 per unit sold. Yep, yeah, that's it. 
If you are selling a few items here and there, this plan might be the perfect for you. Now, if you're serious about your Amazon selling journey and ready to take it to the next level, the professional plan is what you're looking for. For a flat monthly fee of $39.99, you gain access to a whole range of benefits. Whether you sell one unit or a hundred, the monthly fee remains the same. Pretty sweet deal, right? Amazon does charge additional dropshipping fees, typically ranging from 10% to 15% of the product selling price. Keep in mind that these fees may vary depending on the type of product you are selling. Now here's the exciting part. When you compare it to other e-commerce business models out there, Amazon dropshipping is often considered the cheapest way to dive into online selling. With affordable monthly fees and no requirement to invest in inventory upfront, it's an excellent option for those just starting out their e-commerce journey. Now that you have a better understanding of what dropshipping entails and how it works, here's how you can get started as a dropshipper in seven easy steps. Step one, open an Amazon seller account. To kick things off, head over to sellercentral.amazon.com and sign up for an Amazon seller account. They'll ask for some personal information such as your name, address, email, and phone number, as well as your bank account details and tax details. It's important to have these details handy to complete the account forms. If you are new to selling on Amazon, I recommend signing up for an individual seller account. It's free to get started and it allows you to sell up to 40 items per month. However, once you start exceeding that limit, it's a good idea to switch to a professional seller account. This will help you save on Amazon fees as you continue to grow your sales. Step 2. Find profitable products to dropship. Now, to succeed in Amazon dropshipping, it's crucial to choose products that are already proven to be popular and profitable. Look for items that have a track record of generating significant revenue and a healthy number of daily orders on Amazon. Here's an ultimate tip. You can get help to discover high demand or low competition product opportunities for your online business. Simply access the Seller Apps product research feature to get everything in one place. This tool is exclusively designed to provide you with estimates of monthly sales, the revenue, number of reviews, and other useful metrics to help you find the right product for your dropshipping business. There's a great way to easily validate your product research. Let me quickly show you how. After logging into the seller app dashboard, this is how the platform looks like, where all the key actions reflect navigate to the product research feature over here. If you are a beginner level seller or an experienced seller looking to expand your portfolio, then this is the perfect feature you're looking at. We have recently upgraded this with smart filters and advanced filters, and I can't wait to show it all to you. Simple filters are for beginners. Under this, we have category and include keywords fields. You can choose any category from this drop down menu and enter the keywords. If you aren't sure about this, you can simply make use of these smart filters bestseller, low competition, high growth, and custom. I'm selecting bestseller and clicking on search products. The search results will be displayed on the screen. You can also go to edit filters and choose other smart filters, say for example, custom, here you get two options, simple and advanced. Under advanced, you get all of these options, select the desired category, enter the minimum and maximum range for ratings, review count, the weight, opportunity score, BSR, that is best sellers rank, etc. After filling in all the information, you can also save filter by entering the name so that when you visit again, you can continue with your search effortlessly. Now click on search products. Here you'll find the overview section. These values are for page one products. Once you go to page two, the overview values will be totally different. Now out of all these products, which one will give you the best opportunity to sell on Amazon? Well, that is determined by the opportunity score present here. 
It determines the sales potential of your product. It's Seller App's exclusive feature wherein Seller App algorithm scores these products based on all of these criteria. For this product, the opportunity score is high and it depends on these factors. In order to get high sales potential, you need to have a high opportunity score. For that, you got to have high demand, high revenue potential, low competition, low overhead cost, high profit margin, and high PIs index. PIs index is the product innovation scope index, which determines the scope of improvement in your product. Now, apart from this, you have other metrics here, which will help you to select the best product to sell on Amazon. Additionally, you also have this column called track product where you can successfully track them to understand the quality and performance of their listings. In this way, you can easily find out the top products to sell on Amazon. Step three, find the right supplier. Once you have identified your niche, it's time to find a reliable supplier who understands the ins and outs of drop shipping. Now, there are various ways to find these suppliers such as doing Google searches, attending trade shows, using supplier directories, or even reaching out directly to manufacturers. You can also leverage SellerApp's product sourcing feature partnered with Alibaba.com to discover the perfect supplier for your business. Now, when selecting a supplier, it's important to carefully screen them and ensure they are capable of efficiently processing the orders and shipping products to your customers. Step four, keyword research. Now, once you have a product idea and a supplier, it's time to dive into the keyword research. Keyword research is the process of discovering and selecting relevant search terms that your shoppers use when looking for products. Now, it helps you to optimize your listing to match what shoppers are searching for, boosting the visibility and potential sales. Now, alternatively, you also need to find your competitor keywords and try ranking for their products. You can do this with Seller App's Reverse ASIN tool. This will help you to identify the keywords they use in their listings, giving you valuable insights to optimize your own product listing. Step five, create your product listing. Now it's time to create a compelling product listing on Amazon. Your listing is the first thing potential customers will see when they visit your page on Amazon. So it needs to be creative, innovative, and engaging. Make sure to incorporate the top keywords relevant to your product. To get started, access your Seller Central account and navigate to inventory, add a product, choose the appropriate category, and provide all the necessary information for your listing, including the product details and the pricing. If you're interested in learning more about creating a compelling product listing, I've got you covered. Check out the link in the description below for all the juicy details. You don't want to miss it. Step six, get your product out there. Now, when it comes to launching your product on Amazon, you want to have a solid plan in place. First things first, ensure that your inventory uploading is taken care of now, this means adding and updating all the necessary product information and the stock availability on your Seller Central account. You can simply upload a file or use compatible software to provide the details like titles, descriptions, prices, quantities, and more. This keeps your inventory up to date on Amazon, making it a breeze for your customers to discover and purchase your products. It's crucial to regularly update your inventory to maintain accurate stock levels and avoid any unexpected stock out situations. After that, you can focus on implementing a comprehensive strategy that involves promoting your product through social media and Amazon sponsored product campaigns. With everything in place, you're all set to provide a seamless shopping experience for your customers and kickstart your product sales on Amazon. Then you need to make sure your product is visible in Amazon search results. One effective way to achieve this is by running the pay-per-click that is PPC campaigns that drive traffic to your product listings. Now, these campaigns can help you generate the interest and boost the visibility. 
Additionally, don't forget to create some buzz around your product by promoting it on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Leverage the power of social media to reach a wider audience and generate the excitement. Spread the word through the platforms like these and watch your product gain more momentum. Now, but that's not all, right? By implementing a well-rounded launch strategy that combines the social media promotion with the Amazon sponsored product campaigns, you will maximize your product's visibility and drive a flood of sales on Amazon. It's a winning combination that can't be beaten. Now, it's all about getting your product in front of your potential customers and enticing them to make a purchase. Step 7. Stay ahead by monitoring your business performance. Now, as an Amazon dropshipper, you have two main responsibilities. First is ensuring smooth order fulfillment with your supplier and second is actively managing your inventory while also driving traffic to your product listings and generating sales. If you want to rock this business, staying on top of the things is the name of the game. So stay organized and keep a close eye on how your listing is performing in uh, your search results. Don't forget to regularly check your ad campaigns and tweak them to make them super effective. You want your product to stand out in those search rankings, so give it a little extra oomph to increase its uh, visibility and grab that attention of potential customers. Oh, and here's a little secret to success. Building a solid relationship with your supplier is like gold. Make sure these orders are fulfilled on time and your customers are happy campers. Happy customers mean repeat business and that's what we are all about. Now, Amazon dropshipping is an incredible option for aspiring entrepreneurs, offering a range of benefits that make it an attractive platform to launch your business. Now, let me take you through the important ones uh, compared to traditional retail methods or other e-commerce models like wholesaling. Dropshipping requires minimal upfront investment. You don't need to purchase inventory or handle the physical products. No picking packing or shipping. It's a cost effective way to get started and start earning revenue. Now, Amazon boosts a staggering of 30 plus product categories. With the right suppliers by your side, you have the freedom to sell in as many niches as you desire. Just be mindful of Amazon's restricted categories such as alcohol, the power sports and medical devices and store clear of these. Setting up a dropshipping business on Amazon is a breeze, especially for new entrepreneurs. There's no need to worry about purchasing and storing inventory. So with a few simple steps, you can actually create your Amazon seller account and start selling products once you have established the relationship with your suppliers. Now it's hassle free and even convenient. The beauty of dropshipping on Amazon is that you are selling pre-existing products from manufacturers. Now, this means you can leverage tools like Seller App, an all-in-one platform for selling on Amazon, to research how other sellers are performing with similar products. Now, it gives you a competitive edge and valuable insights when launching your dropshipping business. Amazon is a global e-commerce giant attracting millions of customers. Now, as a dropshipper, you can tap into this vast customer base and explore a wide range of dropshipping niches. With the right products and the reliable suppliers, you have a tremendous market potential right at your fingertips. If you are already a Shopify merchant, you are in luck. You can seamlessly connect your Shopify store to Amazon and leverage its massive marketplace. Now, this partnership allows you to effortlessly manage the orders on both the platforms. You can also keep your inventory levels synced, ensuring you don't oversell or run into any inventory issues. Just like any business model, there are a few downsides to consider before diving headfirst into the e-commerce venture. First is brace yourself for some fierce competition. As dropshipping on Amazon has low barriers to entry, it's a crowded marketplace. To avoid getting lost in the sea of sellers, you'll need to carefully choose products and niches that aren't oversaturated. It's all about finding your unique selling point, 
prepare to encounter sellers on Amazon with limited product information. If your supplier fails to provide you with the necessary details, it can leave you unable to answer the customer questions about the product. Now, clear communication with your supplier becomes crucial to ensure you have all the information needed to address the customer queries. Unfortunately, you don't have direct control over the quality of the products shipped to the customers. You are at the mercy of your suppliers for maintaining their product quality. So it's essential to choose your partners wisely and establish a reliable relationship with suppliers who prioritize the quality control. Doing thorough research and due diligence is a must. Now, since you are not purchasing the merchandise in bulk, offering traditional promotional deals and the discounts becomes challenging in this particular venture. Now, however, you can get creative uh, by providing incentives like free shipping or discounted product bundles. Bundling different products from your store can help drive higher sales and customer satisfaction. Drop shipping often means dealing with low product inventory. Now, depending on a single supplier who may work with other merchants can result in insufficient stock to meet the customer demands. To combat this, you can source the same products from alternate suppliers when inventory is running low. But keep in mind that managing multiple suppliers adds complexity to your operations, which contradicts the simplicity of the dropshipping. Branding can be a challenge in dropshipping since products are typically sold under the manufacturer's or the supplier's branding. This makes it harder to create a distinct brand identity, build customer loyalty and stand out from the competitors. Since your suppliers handle packaging and shipping, you may not always have the immediate access to order the status updates. Now, this can make responding to the customer inquiries about the delivery status a bit tricky. In case of incorrect packages, you will need to consult your supplier for verification before taking any kind of action. Effective communication between the seller and the supplier is crucial to avoid the potential issues, poor customer experiences and the negative reviews. While these cons exist, they don't overshadow the potential benefits of the dropshipping on Amazon. It's important to weigh the pros and cons, uh, develop the strategies to mitigate these challenges and build the strong relationships with the trustworthy suppliers. By doing so, you can navigate through Amazon dropshipping while providing a top-notch customer experience. To wrap things up, Amazon dropshipping can be a fantastic business model for anyone itching to start an online e-commerce venture without the hassle of stocking up on inventory. It's like a dream come true for building entrepreneurs. But hey, let's keep it real. Dropshipping does have its fair share of limitations and challenges, just like any other business. Don't let that discourage you. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is a successful dropshipping business. It takes some serious dedication, hard work and a whole lot of patience. But trust me, it's totally worth it. With the right mindset, strategy and a dash of creativity, you can absolutely create a profitable and sustainable dropshipping business in the ever thriving e-commerce industry. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!